house music it is really appealing because it's very sexual it's very positive it's dance music you know you use your whole body and in this day and age a lot of people can't go home and have sex so they might as well have sex on the dance floor Welcome to another edition of Soul in the City. Well, it's not just another edition of Soul in the City. Here we're going to endeavor to show you some of the various forms of house music. House music is the latest American dance music form that has taken over the British and now the Canadian dance music charts. We will talk to the DJs who play house music, the audience that there is all across Canada for house music, and the artists who create the music. We'll endeavor to show you what house music is. House is a lot of different things. It's a feeling, it's a spirit, it's an emotion, you know. It's hypnotic, it, it, it gives you a good feeling. It's the type of music that it motivates you. It has a lot of power and drive. And um, it's, just, it's just something about the sound of it and the percussions and the drums and the bass line. It's not complicated music. It's just the basics there, the main things that make people motivated to get on the floor and dance. <laughs> House music originally started from, I would say, the old Philadelphia sound. DJs and clubs in Chicago would play it, and therefore it became popular. And some of these records were hard to get, so DJs started making their own versions, and it became in demand. People started asking for it, and they got, hey, we could press this up. And house music caught on like wildfire after that, because some of the newer versions were even just as hot as some of the old versions. <laughs> I like the beat, the beat, the beat. There's no words, just the beat, the beat, the beat. And a lot of people will say that it comes from radio programs like the Hot Mix 5, where they played a lot of the old Philadelphia soul records and then would go home and remix the tracks themselves with a lot of heavy bass beats. Um, some people will say that Frankie Knuckles started the sound when he opened up the club warehouse in Chicago. I mean, there's the name right there, House coming from Warehouse. He played a lot of the old Philly soul again, um, brought in tracks that he would, he would remix or other DJs would remix using uh, just basically the drum machine, uh, the bass, and layering them over the songs that he had on vinyl. But those rhythms got so popular that they started pressing them on vinyl. People like Frankie Knuckles or Farley Jack Master Funk more from who was from the Hot Mix 5 program. This is my name. It's not forged and it's not fake. It's real. as the godfather of house? Mm, I don't like to think of myself as the godfather of house, but um, I guess I was pretty much pinned with that name. I guess like James Brown is could pin with the name the godfather of soul. I guess because he invented it to a certain degree. I don't think that I invented it. I just, just like, it's just a sound, uh, I guess that I've educated everyone with to a certain degree. That's probably why. What is the house sound? Hmm. It's well. It's it's a conglomeration of many different sounds. For me, it's it's a little more sophisticated. It's, it keeps changing, you know. And when it came into vogue, like about four years ago, four or five years ago, it was going in so many different directions. And it's still, to a certain degree, going in so many di different directions because it hasn't legitimized itself yet. But it's beginning to do that now. How'd the whole thing start? Now, did it really start in did it really start in Chicago? Well, the warehouse or did it was it have its roots in New York? Well, I'm from New York City, so I guess it did have its roots in New York. Um, when I moved to Chicago eleven years ago, um, I basically moved there so I can have an opportunity to try and create something of my own, do something different than uh, other than what was happening in New York. And basically I was just doing a lot of own remixing my you know, remixing my own, uh, considering the fact that none of the remix jobs were in you know, Chicago, they were all in New York. Elevator. <laughs> so, 
Oh, that one's going up. So with that, I've just, you know, I started uh, doing all my own remixing and everything like that in Chicago, and it caught on eventually. Paradise Garage, may it rest in peace. Another distinctive form of house began at an after-hours club in New York City called Paradise Garage. The garage sound is one of the more commercial forms of house music. The earlier Chicago sound uh, mainly utilized a lot of bass. I mean, you can recognize it in songs like Jack Your Body, Love Can't Turn Around. Heavy bass, heavy drums, they're sort of tribal rhythms. It was really heavy dance music and got terms like Jack Your Body, but basically there were almost no vocals. Um, then we come to something like the Garage Sound, the name coming from the Paradise Garage, which was an after-hours club in New York, which closed only about two years ago. It was open for, I guess, 10 years. That kind of a sound, they use a lot more, stronger on the synthesizer runs, a lot of organ-like synthesizers, strong vocals, heavy emphasis on the vocals, you gotta have a good vocalist, really, really soulful music. I mean, House gets sort of dissed a lot for having no substance. You can say that, I guess, about some of the earlier stuff, like the Chicago House, but the garage, it's got real soul, real soul. Again, takes its sound a lot from the old, old disco, good R&B disco and Philly sound. This is Frankie Knuckles on the house telephone. You're watching Soul in the City. Coming up, hip hop. The techno sound is, is exactly that. It's really technical. It sounds really technical, very harsh. It's not a pretty sound. It's not really palatable. Uh, it took a lot longer to catch on, although people like Blake Baxter and Derek May and Kevin Saunderson from who started Inner City, have made it, gotten it to the point where it can be more, more commercial. Let's work it to the bone. Come on, let's work. Work. Come on, let's work. Come on, let's work it to the bone, bone, bone. Come on, let's work. A lot of the techno sound borders on new wave almost it's like a cross between dance music and new wave it, it comes from the city itself it's very chaotic is how someone like Juan Atkins when he was asked about it described it the city is chaos and so is their music it's got no real structure to it
this. If you combine hip-hop and high-energy dance music with the genius production skills of Todd Terry, you're guaranteed a packed dance floor and a full house. You've got the house sound with, say, a rapper over top of it. Some of the current hip house people are, say, Tyree and Fast Daddy. But I guess the person who really started that was Todd Terry, who began the whole sample thing, taking bites out of other house tracks or old disco tracks and whatever, and combining them with his own music. I don't bite. They're biting off of me. I'm going to get all of you. You hear me? All of you. <laughs> That's a warning for the biters. I know you've heard me, too. They know who they are. I'm gonna get you. Do they wanna give us some names? No. They know who they are. Come, 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 right? Come on, come on. Yeah, buddy. How would you describe the, the Todd Terry song? Well, I put it in different ways. Like Black Riot will have R&B in house. The um, Todd Terry Project will have like a freestyle in house. Swan Lake will have European in house. Orange Lemon will be freestyle. You know, be it's in all different like categories to me. That's how you know I can differ it. Royal well, House would be like rapping house, you know, those type of things. idea of Royal House is, is like you could say it's synonymous with a good time. What we like to do is have fun, make sure everybody's dancing and partying. And it's a combination of house music combined with, we're all from New York, and we have like rap background. It's kind of like hip hop mixed with house. So it brings a, a larger audience into the, you know, the race. Terry. And we watch Soul in the City on Much Music live. Coming up, Acid House. There's a lot more to house than just acid music. Last summer in the UK, there was a throwback to the music of the late 70s. The disco era mixed with the technology of house gave birth to the hypnotic trance dance phenomena called Acid House. sound that's going to be in every record it sounds the same to me and become i don't know i don't know how long that's going to last because every that's it's one same sound it's almost one same key it's not no real changing key that might last and then i might not last we'll soon see the whole acid house scene is supposed to be something new and it's big and it's going to just take over everything because it's nonsensical music it really is it's just nonsensical music. It's it, it, it's a beat and it's a rhythm that's that, that's very consistent and very repetitious. And they and that was the biggest problem with most of the majors in the beginning about house music because they kept saying, well, it's all repetitious. It doesn't say anything. It doesn't do anything. It doesn't go anywhere. You know. And that's not necessarily true. The harsh sound can comparable to techno, I guess, in a way. Very fat, kind of rolling bass line, kind of percolating bass line. Again, minimal vocals harsh but really kind of a trippy sound very after hours oriented Feel it all around and 
you dance. It grows. It grows on you. And then once it's inside of you, bang. You just, you just move. You, you can't help it. Acid House has kind of given the whole house scene a really bad name. It, it got really popular in London and got some bad press with people associating the drug with the music. So now there's a lot of anti-house, anti-acid slogans going around. The house music has nothing to do with acid <laughs> yeah. or drugs, period. That's a misconception um, England has. And I don't know where they got that from. It's something they picked up. Yeah, we you know, I guess anything that's a, um, we a powerful force, they try to suppress someone out and put something bad press on like rock and roll or rap music, you know, but it has nothing to do with um, drugs at all. It's all just having fun and partying. And we didn't see even drugs doing, I mean, when doing drugs at any of the shows we've done, we have done, so mm -hmm. that's something who started that. You've got to really remember that, like the magazines say, the music is the drug. In typical UK fashion to mimic all that American music is, House UK goes pop in 88, 89. Do you want to talk business or do you want to play house? House is becoming really, really popular in the UK and that's probably what's going to make it successful for a lot of artists in the US that, that used to be underground. Uh, the thing about the UK is they tend to take the music and sort of come out with their watered down version. They're very heavy on the sample business. It, it almost becomes a pop form over there. We've got a hot one for you. Can you take care of it? We've got a hot one for you. Can you take care of it? Brooklyn, Manhattan, they, it's a little bit different than England. England is more, they're more into house than Brooklyn is. Brooklyn, they, they into it, but not as much as England. England rides that on the pop charts, so it's like a, a lot different. You know, it's pretty, it's pretty much of a difference, but I think England is a little bit better for house music right about now. They're more up to date. We got this house under arrest. Hi there, and you're watching the sensational C.C. Rogers on Much Music. Yeah, soul of the city on Much, Much Music. We'd like to thank you very much for joining us on this House Music Special on Soul and City. If you'd like to see more House, let us know about it. Actually, in the weeks to come, you will see more House, because together we will discover the New Jersey or Clubhouse scene. The people we'd like to thank are Julie Levine, Marla, the Soul House Dancers, the Empire Dance Bar, and a special dedication to the Twilight Zone, which is a club from Toronto. Actually, it's just behind the nation's music station is where the Twilight Zone used to exist, and people used to dance to the wee hours of the morning. Unfortunately, it is no longer there. This show is dedicated to you. Also, our last example of house music is what we call the future of house, Deep House. It includes the production stylings of Marshall Jefferson and the music and performance of Tin City. Now, the attitude of Deep House is a positive attitude. The music is a return to soul, as possibly we all know it. And they also prefer using real instruments to machines, which makes me very happy. Deep House, coming up we have Tin City, and that's the way love is. You take real good care, and we'll do it again next week when we look for soul in your city. The term Deep House was coined about three years ago with groups like Tin City coming out writing these, these, these house songs that were full, they were deep, they're, they're using live instruments, very layered kind of sound, a lot of the pieces are fully orchestrated. Again, the emphasis is on the vocals, just like Garage, you've got a lot of incredible vocalists who are coming out of either 
gospel scenes like the church it's probably going to bring house again more into a a wider to a wider audience because this it, it's emotional it's very positive peace love unity music Tin city is a classic sound more of a more of a natural sound everything is natural and spiritual about our music everything we do we try to put emotion in our music i mean we try to give people something they can feel and something like they can leech on to within our songs very uh, um, strong in technology whereas now all the musicians get together now basically if you play keyboards you can have your own one-man band you go into a studio or build your own studio four track or eight track and basically just be able to play a piano because you got you got sampling and everything the drum machines but in the Midwest basically from where we're from Michael you know hey guys get together a bass player gets together drummer get together we get together in the basement and we play you know, yeah. and that's what we want to bring back to music. Not really, so everything is almost like high technology. All the musicians are really getting out of work now, you know, because you don't need a guitar player, you don't need a bass player, you don't need a drummer. Everybody's getting into the producing end, but we want to bring that real, real music back. You know, I can't listen to anything on the radio anymore because nobody plays real instruments, you know, and it's all this digital stuff going on and loud drum. You know, I, and I can't hang with that no more, so I got to hear you know, real instruments with some walking bass and some real you know. Yeah. Well, there's that, a lot of walking bass in the house and there's a lot of piano. Yeah. Yeah. yeah that's the real sounds, like real acoustic sounds. The the sound quality in digital is a lot harsher than it's cold. Yes, yeah. it's, yeah. it's very it cold. Never, I mean it, it doesn't never, have the warmth that, warm. no, that, yeah. that uh the analog sounds have or the, the emotional side that a musician puts into his performance while recording. Marshall's sound Everybody is freaking out, like in New York, where I'm from. You know, you know, he has a new tune out by Tim City, and he brought the horns back in, man. He brought them horny horns. I said, like, -da 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 -da. oh man, it's they wild. flipping out over in New York. It's wild yeah. because, like, okay, on devote this record, Devotion, Tim City's last one, I used real strings and you know, real bass and all this and, every, and real guitar, and everybody's freaking out. Oh man, what what kind of sample yeah. did you use for that? I said, man, yeah. it's real, real players, real, man. Real it's real guitar player. her playing the guitar, and that's some <laughs> horny horns and some you know, and some strings. I mean, it's real instruments. Devotion is a classical sound that a lot of people want to know. Uh, wondering did we get it, get it from an old record? Because a lot of some house songs are old records that are updated. You know, I guess they can be creative with an another person's idea. But everyone was trying to find out what song that we uh, you know get devotion from, and it wasn't so much that we got it from another song. It's just that we went back into that era and just tried to get bits and pieces of that vibe and revive it. Everything I see reminds me of you. When I left, baby, I bit off more than I could chew. I searched the world all around. A better love can be found. When I'm tired of my chase, I always see a smile in the face. I try so hard to get your embrace, but I can't find another any place. I asked all my friends, what can I do for the trail? Always leads right back to you. Right back to you. 
want to put the spirit back into the music, like using real musicians, because yeah. you can't, computers can't take, can't give you that real human touch than a real person, you know, than a human being can give it. So we want to put that spirit back into the music. And also back then in the 70s or whatever, everybody danced freely. Everybody's not so like this, you know, they dance like robots. No one's freely, you know, they're just trying to be cool, keep their hair all nice and all this other stuff. Yeah. So we want to know, bring all that back, bring the, the whole spirit back into the music. House is a mainstream sound. I mean, it, but it's right now is very regional. It, it will expand and be, I guess, worldwide. It just needs a couple of more marketplaces and uh. I look forward to be the next big sound to take over. One day, one day, people all over the world will get up higher. I keep on trying. It's gonna be alright someday. 24 hours a day in stereo. This is Much Music, Leading Edge Pictures, Leading Edge Sound.